Last night, the state of Texas executed Robert Frada for hiring hitmen to murder his wife, Farah, in 1994. But his two accomplices remain on death row. Our Grace White joins us with more on their cases. Grace? Their names are Howard Gidry and Joseph Price Dash. Neither has an execution date, but as both men sit on death row, Harris County DA Kim Ogg is addressing their cases. But I saw the pain on this family's face like I do on every family, and we'll see that justice is done in all the cases. Speaking after the execution of Robert Frada last night in Huntsville, Harris County District Attorney Kim Ogg vowed the other cases will not be forgotten. Not guilty. Frada was sentenced to death for the 1994 murder of his wife Farah, but the first clue others were involved came from the 911 tapes. There's a car that just pulled up. The suspect is behind a tree, and he can't see me. I have my lights up, but there's a car that just pulled up. I can't tell what color he is. Okay, ma'am. Howard Gidry was the first to be arrested after an unrelated bank robbery. Inside his car, investigators found the gun they believe was used to kill Farah. Gidry, they say, was the trigger man, but the plot didn't stop there. It was actually one of Frada's workout buddies, a man named Joseph Prystash, that was also arrested. Investigators say he was driving the getaway car and was the one who got Gidry to carry out the hit for $1,000, cash that was later found in Frada's car. How rare is it for accomplices to be sentenced to death? So it's incredibly rare for an accomplice in a, in a solicitation of a capital murder case to be sentenced to death. KGU 11 legal expert Carmen Rowe says you have to consider the time. Is it true that we sent more people to death row in the 90s than we are today? Absolutely. The 90s was a completely different time period. And at that time, Harris County was executing more inmates than any state across the country, save perhaps two. The options jurors had were not the same as today. Life without parole was not an option. There wasn't a lot of knowledge. You couldn't tour the death chamber, for example. All of that's been opened up to the public and to the media for transparency purposes. But make no mistake, while the fraud case is unusual, Roe says it was also incredibly heinous. I think a lot of people in the community think that the death penalty was warranted not just for Robert Frada, but also his accomplices. Both Gidry and Price Dash have appealed their convictions, but remain on death row waiting on an execution date. Lynn. All right, Grace, thank you for the update.